621 now rolling up to the starting line. Yeah, it's Daytona 500 weekend. The locals to watch and the legend that will race for the final time. 625 now. The Super Bowl NASCAR the Daytona 500 is taking place this weekend and we have a couple of local connections to tell you about. Tony Valliers joining us now. Yeah, well, the 59th annual Great American Race hits the track in Daytona, Florida this Sunday and last week in Elk Grove's Kyle Larson qualified 16th in a field of 42 cars. His top speed 192 miles an hour. This is all you need. This monitor. How great is this? Makes racing like fun. There. So a series of races leading up to the big event is called Speed Weeks and Roseville's own NASCAR team just returned from Daytona with a couple of top 10 finishes to kick off their season. Team owner Bill McNally, McAnally Rathers team comes into 2017 as the defending West Series champions and this year aims to win both the East and the West championships. Speed Weeks is, is so important to the sport and NASCAR. It's like the Super Bowl, the NFL, but we have it at the start of our season. So it's very fun to have a local Roseville team travel all the way to Daytona, Florida and be part of Speed Weeks. McAnally's newest driver, 15-year-old Derek Krause, finished third, while last year's champion Todd Gilliland finished ninth after losing his lead to a flat tire. Well, this will be a year of change for NASCAR, which will be in search of new stars. Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Carl Edwards, and Greg Biffle have all retired from full-time racing, and 53-year-old Michael Waltrip will make his final NASCAR start on Sunday. However, Dell Earnhardt Jr. returns after missing most of last season due to concussions. Teo, dear all right, Tony, thank you. Arrested.